So in our last video, we learned a little bit about beavers and their habitat. Now we're gonna focus on two of those components we learned about, food and water. Beavers eat mostly bark, twigs, and leaves, which makes them herbivores, or animals that only eat plants. Other animals could be carnivores, which is an animal that only eats other animals, or omnivores, which is an animal that eats both plants and animals. Here we have the skulls of three different animals. We can tell if that animal was an herbivore, carnivore, or omnivore by looking at the teeth. The first skull we are going to look at is that of a deer. Deer are herbivores, so they only eat plants. Most herbivores have very flat molars in the back of their mouths like we do, and some herbivores have scoop-like incisors, which are sharper front teeth. The flat molars are helpful when grinding up and chewing leaves or berries. The next skull is from a bobcat, which is a carnivore. These are true meat-eating only animals that have sharp teeth for ripping and tearing. Their front canine teeth are elongated and sharp, and their incisors are often small and reduced in size. Their back teeth, or molars, are also serrated and sharp, like the blades of a saw. This allows them to hold, rip, and tear meat from prey. Our final skull is from a red fox, which is an omnivore. Omnivores eat both meat and plant material. Their teeth are usually a combination of meat-eating and plant-eating teeth. You can see here that they have both flat molars for grinding plant matter and sharp canines for ripping and tearing meat. Now that we understand what animals eat, we're going to talk about how animals get their food. Here in Colorado, animals have to change how they go about getting their food as the seasons change. With each season change, animals either migrate, hibernate, or tolerate to get their food. Some animals, like birds and elk, migrate. Certain birds migrate over long distances to warmer weather in the winter where it is easier to find food. Elk migrate vertically or down in elevation within their habitat. During the summer months, they spend their time where it is cooler at higher elevations, but during the winter, when the snow is deep and it's harder to find food, they migrate to lower elevations with less snow and more food options. Other animals hibernate. Have you ever heard of an animal that hibernates? Marmots are true hibernators here in Colorado. They bury themselves in a burrow deep underground and hibernate for eight to nine months out of the year. Bears are false hibernators and actually go into something called torpor, which is a deep sleep, but something they can wake up from every now and then throughout the winter in order to get food or water. And finally, some animals just tolerate the cold. These are animals like red foxes or snowshoe hares who adapt to the changing conditions but still hunt and live in the same area all year. Their fur may change color and grow thicker in order to help them survive and tolerate the long, cold winter. Water, like food, is a necessity for all animals to survive. Some animals, like fish, live within the water. Others, like beavers, depend on the ecosystem around the water to survive. And some animals just need to find water every now and then to drink and stay hydrated, which can be difficult depending on their habitat. Water sources could be scarce in places like a desert. During the winter months here in the mountains of Colorado, the majority of water is held in the snow or frozen bodies of water. This makes it difficult for animals to get to the water they need. Depending on season and habitat location, access to water can vary, but is an essential element for all animals' survival. Stay tuned for our next video, where we're gonna learn about the final two habitat components with Kate.